In this first lesson, we'll be making a fairly simple blouse. It could be worn as is or underneath a bodice or a waist cinch like you see here. And let's get started. All right, so we're going to lay out our fabric and we're going to be using about uh, a yard and a half of fabric. It just, because you can get away with a yard, but it just depends on how big you want your shirt to be. I'm using oh, a little under a yard and a half of fabric. And you want it folded over as you can see, it's, it's doubled over, and the fold is up here near me. And that's where we want to put the, the neck of our shirt, is up near the fold. And what we're going to do is just carefully cut around the shirt, leaving about a one inch gap. Okay, now we've cut around our pattern, and we've got the basic workings of our shirt. So we're going to start sewing the sides and arms of our shirt, and so I would start um, at the armpit, basically, and then sew towards the end. So I'm going to start with this armpit, tuck it under here. All the way to the end. Cut your fabric. And then start up again at the armpit. And we'll do the the arm. Side of the arm there. And then we'll go around and do the other side. tops of the arms. Alright, that wasn't too much sewing. Okay, so we have uh, the sides sewn together and the shirt is kind of taking shape. Now we're going to cut uh, a neck hole because, uh, you know, we, most of us have heads and it needs to go somewhere. So, uh, fold over your shirt like so. And up here where both folds meet, we're going to cut our neck hole. So we're just going to start it off pretty small. We're going to go down about four inches and we're going to go over about two. We're just going to cut a rectangle to those measurements. Okay, kind of a rough initial cut. Unfold it. And it looks small, and it is a little small, but we just kind of want something to start with. So we can now try this on and see how it's going to look. And then we can cut it accordingly. Okay, so this is about where we want the shirt to be at this point. I could uh, stretch it over my shoulders just barely. And that's, that's where we'll want it because uh, the way we're going to fold, a, fold it under, it will be able to, uh, to go over your shoulders comfortably if that's how you want to wear it. Basically what we're going to do is uh, be able to run a drawstring around uh, the neck. And the way we're going to do that is um, we're going to start with cutting two slits in the side here uh, about a half inch. Just cut diagonally at these two uh, corners here. Um, fold the fabric over like that and we're going to, to just sew it. And we're going to do that all the way around. Uh, and then we'll be able to run, uh, I'm going to use some white yarn um, and just kind of through the little, it's going to make a little pocket here and we're going to be able to just run around there, have a little tie come out the back of it and then you'll be able to, to pull it tight or looser or however you want. Now that we have um, 
our little pocket sewn. We're going to uh, thread our yarn through uh, through it and make our drawstring. Yeah. Okay, so I couldn't find my crochet hook, so what I'm going to use instead is just a wooden skewer, um, and I've tied the yarn to the uh, end of it, and hopefully it'll stay on while we're uh, running it through here. Just run it through very gently. Ooh, are you going to stay on? You stay on. Yay, alright. So you just run that through. All the uh, pockets. All right, we made it. So now we have the yarn coming back out where we started. So both pieces of the yarn are meeting back up. And just kind of scrunch it up or stretch it out or just make it. Uh, however big or small you like it. You can tie it. This string will hide inside the shirt. Just make a little bow there. What I do with the uh, sleeves is pretty much just make it like the neck where when you're folding it over to do the hem just kind of leave a, a little pocket of space. Here we're in focus. Just kind of leave a little pocket of space and then you can run another piece of yarn and then you can kind of make fitted sleeves. If I... Yay! Okay. And now we'll have adjustable sleeves. So you can make it tight around your, your upper arm and that will kind of make this puff a little bit. And then we'll have our puffy shirt. <laughs> Okay, so now we should be done with our Renaissance blouse, but um, I hope it works out for you. I hope you give it a try, uh, and good luck. Thanks for watching my video on how to make a blouse. I hope it was useful. Stay tuned for my next video, and we'll make a super simple gathered skirt. Thanks for watching.